It happened around 1030 this morning in Livermore. That's where we find Cron Force Philippe Jagal. He joins us live now with the very latest. Philippe. Noel, fortunately, PG&E says it appears the two people that were injured did not suffer life-threatening injuries. Still, they were both hospitalized. It's still unclear as to what led up to this crash. We do know that the two were training at the time, and then at some point, things went south. This is the damaging end to a PG&E training exercise at the utility's Electric Safety Academy facility on National Drive in Livermore, a mangled Bell 407 helicopter that the Livermore Pleasanton Fire Department says crashed in the parking lot just before 10 o'clock Wednesday morning. In this case, uh, there was some fuel on the ground. Our, our crews were able to quickly pull a, a hose line to protect the operation and keep everybody safe. That prevented a fire from breaking out. There were no flames. PG&E adds the crash did not result in any property damage. The pilot who was extricated and taken to uh, a trauma center, uh, the other person that was involved was operating outside of the aircraft and they were actually ambulatory and walking at the scene, although we uh, transported them for evaluation as well. It's unclear if human error, weather conditions or an aircraft malfunction led to the crash. They do all manner of training at this facility, so they do uh, line training and underground training as well. Um, it's a comprehensive facility. They've had uh, the fire department out here uh, to teach us about uh, safety as well. Um, they're a very well-run facility. Both the Federal Aviation Administration and the National Transportation Safety Board are investigating this case. Live in Livermore, Philippe Jagal, Cron 4 News. Uh, Philippe, did PG&E give any more details about the type of training that this was and if that will continue? They did not get into detail, Noel, but we did ask them if at some point, a power pole was involved, maybe was hit by the helicopter, and they would not divulge that information. All right, Philippe, thank you for that live report.